Uh, see the procedure is like this. First we, we build the uh, functional dependencies and then we build the tables. But now I am just asking you if a table is given to you and if this table is valid according to all the constraints then what are the functional dependencies you can rule out. So after giving a table we can rule out some of the functional dependencies as they might not have been I know be there uh, at the first place but we will not be able to guess what are the functional dependencies which have already been uh, you know there are you following it see given a functional dependency later we try to uh, add some attributes into the add some tuples into the tables but now the question is given the table right what are the uh, functional dependencies that you could guess uh, might not have existed but then you will not be able to guess what are the functional de dependencies definitely would have you know you would have derived from the uh, requirement analysis okay i'll just take the examples it will be clear right now watch it rule out the functional dependencies based on the tables which means if this table is true if this table is allowed by dbms your, your software then what are the functional dependencies that you can rule out and what are the functional dependencies that you might have to leave for further examination right see this eid determines e name so is it right or wrong according to this uh, you know uh, this particular uh, three entries if you watch eid determines e name you are seeing that eid is always unique right so whenever left hand side is always unique right you can you you can think that this is valid as far as this is concerned right therefore uh, see simple eid has to determine ename given any eid you have to come up with a unique ename since eid itself is unique given any unique one you will be able to say only one name right you are not going to say two for example if they say that eid equal to one what is e name then you will say e name is a eid equal to two what is e name you will say b eid equal to three you will say b got it so whenever any eid is given your answer will always be one answer got it therefore maybe this this uh, functional dependency would have existed earlier i am not sure that it is definitely there but then i cannot rule out depending on this i cannot rule out okay and now what about this one can i rule it out see this given a value of e name will you be able to say a unique eid see if e name is a i'll be able to say eid is one but if e name is b right i will not be able to say a unique eid got it therefore this one doesn't exist in case if this one would have existed you would never get this case right so at the first place this uh, functional dependency would not have been existing and therefore it is not a constraint it has not been applied on the uh, you know dbms as a constraint and so these tuples are allowed right what about this i am not sure as of now i am not able to rule it out maybe in future that it might be possible that we might have to rule it out for example see in future what might have happened what might happen is maybe if they if they enter one more tuple one and let us say c then what happens given an eid i'll not be able to come up with a unique e name therefore i'll i'll, I'll uh, rule out it right therefore i i need some further examination i cannot guess it as of now as of now i cannot rule it out it doesn't mean that it definitely exists got it and uh, you might think that is it possible at all that uh, you know two attributes are having two you know same value and here also two attributes are not having same value and there is no primary key at all it is not possible you know in case uh, if we had other attributes also i am talking about only these two particular attributes then it is possible okay so anyway what i wanted is if this particular table is possible what are the things you can rule out right so i could definitely rule out it but i cannot say anything about it as of now as of now it seems as if oh this must be true but later it might change right unless i know the requirement analysis i'll not be able to say exactly so based on the tables i can only uh, delete some of them as invalid i cannot only rule out i cannot uh, say anything specifically okay huh, what about this see this see this table given a value of a will you be able to say a value of b uniquely given a value of a as one i'll not be able to say the value of b because a value of b can be one or two therefore i can rule it out if this table is valid then this functional dependency wouldn't have existed 
if this functional dependency would have existed right and if this is applied as a constraint on the table then you will never get this type, this type of uh, no values now what about this one given a value of b will you be able to come up with a unique value of a given a value of b yes um, if the value of b is 2 what can you say about a a can be 1 or 2 therefore you have to rule it out also because you are not able to come up with a unique value of a got it huh. now let's see this one right so i here both are ruled out right this one yeah now let's see this in this one uh, a determines b which means given a value of a will you be able to come up with a unique value of b just check this if a is 1 b can be 1 or 2 right therefore i am not able to uniquely come up with a value of b just for this case so i need not do any further probing i can just rule it out here and what about b given a value of b can you come up with a unique value of c given a value of b right can i come up with a unique value of c if b is 1 right c is going to be either 4 or 3 right therefore it is also ruled out what about b derives a given a value of b will i be able to come up with a unique value of a see this if b equal to 1 a can be either 1 or 2 not possible what about c derives a given a value of c c derives b given a value of c will i be able to come up with a unique value of b it is not possible see this because when c is 4 b can be either 1 or 2 so it is not possible what about this given a value of c will i be able to come up with a unique value of a yes it turns out yes check this given a value of c so only two values are possible here right so what are they 4 and 3 if the value of c is 4 then always the value of a is 1 if the value of c is 3 then always the value of a is 2 got it therefore yes this is okay as of now i cannot rule it out maybe and i am not sure whether it is uh, true or uh, false because i don't know the requirement analysis right so i cannot rule it out that is what i am sure i cannot say anything further okay because later some kind of addition might violate this uh, functional dependency also therefore i cannot directly declare that this functional dependency exists because only some part of the table is given later some additions might be done to this table which might rule out this one also right now as of now okay a, a derives c is it possible given a value of a will you be able to derive c c if a, a value is 1 yes c value is 4 if a value is 2 yes c value is 3 yes these two i cannot uh, you know rule out now so all these things i can rule out as of now okay now what about this one this this question is given in gate 2002 uh, just see this what are the things that you can rule out uh, given a value of a can you rule out uh, sorry can you get a value of b uniquely when a is 1 yes b is 1 and when a is 2 yes b is 3 therefore given a value of a i am uniquely getting a value of b so as of now i will not be able to rule it out i i can't say anything about this but i am not going to rule it out okay what about b derives c given a value of b you should get a unique value of c but if b equal to 1 c can be 1 or 0 so it is not holding it can be ruled out this wouldn't have existed in case if this would have existed then i will never get such a tuples right okay what about this one x z you are supposed to get x right given a value of x and z you are supposed to get a unique value of x obviously right because it is a trivial dependency isn't it so trivial dependency always holds whatever it is because if you if you give a value of x and z you will always be give, able to get a value of x isn't it if you give the value of x and z as 1 3 what is the value of x 1 if you give the value of x and z as 1 3 what is the value of x 1 if you give the value of x and z as 4 3 value of x is 4 3 2 value of x is 2 so trivial dependencies always hold what is trivial dependency left hand side is a super set of right hand side that is trivial dependency so trivial dependency always holds you need not worry about it it doesn't just depend on the table or you know it, it whatever is the requirement analysis phase you need not worry about it trivial dependencies definitely hold okay whatever is the requirement analysis uh, next one is x y derives z so given a value of x y so x y is 1 4 
x y is 1 6 x y is 4 6 x y is 3 2 and one more thing in a table if the left hand side is unique which means if they are saying that like this case see this x y is unique right 1 4 1 5 4 6 3 2 in a table if left hand side is unique right then you know obviously whatever is the right hand you know right hand side value you can say that it is it doesn't violate at all violations will occur only when left hand side values left hand side attributes are having two same values and the right side attributes are having two different values then only violation will occur as long as left side values are say are distinct which means no two attributes have the same values on lhs then there is no way it is going to violate right so this one will never violate as of now right so as long as this x and y values are unique i can never rule it out okay what about z watch it yes since the values are repeating the left hand side value is z since it is repeating there is a chance that there might be violation right where will be violation for the same values of z if we have different values on you know, right hand side z to y which means for a given value of z you should get a unique value of y it is not possible right because when z equal to 3 y value has taken three different values therefore it can be ruled out right okay let me cross it off so sometimes ruling off is also doesn't determine okay this if you want to rule it out you just strike it off like that right doesn't determine it is actually useful in theoretical exams not in gate this notations conventions and all okay and next one is y determines uh, z so y y value if you watch it y value is actually unique right so whenever left hand side is unique you need not check it it will never get violated violation will occur only when left hand side is same and right hand side differs right and x and z so x and z is yes, here there are unique values right so x and z 1 3 1 3 you have to check only this those uh, you know sorry those uh, values which are repeating you need not check the values which are unique right so which means 1 3 if x and if uh, x and z are 1 3 right y is taking the value of 4 and 5 therefore this one is clearly violated right so how many violations are there this one got violated and uh, this one got violated this one definitely holds because it is trivial and what about this i can't say about it and i can't say about it which means as of now they seem like yes they are true but then uh, i cannot derive that information only based on the table i need the requirement analysis right unless i know the requirement analysis i'll not be able to say rule out them or i'll not be able to accept them okay only thing i'll be sure is some some functional dependencies are not possible that's it okay let's watch this now a determines b so a is actually unique right so whenever there is unique there is no way it, it will get violation right so it is fine and what about bc check the combination of bc yes in bc there is repetition 2 3 here 2 3 here right so given a value of bc a value is 1 and 4 for the same value of bc a value a is taking two values it is a violation so it it would it will never occur now b and c so b is actually repeating just go through the repeating values only right so here it is repetition is there now b de determines c so whenever b is 2 is the c value 3 uh, is same yes c value is same therefore it seems like it holds true but i am not sure as of now now ac determines b what about ac determines b just check the values where there are repetitions so 1 3 4 3 5 3 ac values are not repeated anywhere 1 3 4 3 5 3 therefore there is no there is no possible violation right so as of this table is concerned as far as this table is concerned i'll rule out only this uh, fd and all the other fds they hold right as of now but i don't know exactly they really hold or not unless i know about the requirement analysis got it okay Hi, if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%.
and if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews, and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join the more visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.